on January 30th. 22 of our uh, members from Local 1109 under the Cablevision open door policy asked to speak to a manager to complain about the speed of bargaining and what was going on at the bargaining table. That's all they did. The company has an open door policy which states that uh, there is an open door policy and there will be no retaliation for using the open door policy. Right. Well, not only did Cablevision refused to meet with these 22 people under their very liberal open door policy but then an hour and a half later fired all 22 of them for asking to see the manager i have to say that uh, the past couple of weeks have been very hard on myself and my co-workers it's been difficult uh but cwa has done everything they could to help us through these troubled times uh what i have to tell you now is that it's a very disappointing that very disappointing uh uh, feeling that I have right now for exercising, you know, our rights, our liberties, you know, to just want a fair contract, to just want fairness on the job, and it, it, it hurts me more, to, you know, to no end. Not only as a citizen, but as a as a, a veteran of the armed services, to know that we fought for these rights and liberties and we can't exercise them in the workplace. And it, like I said, it's hard on the families, and we just want our jobs back to use, you know, get back to work. We're going to ask Cablevision some simple questions. They have fairly straightforward and simple obligations to the city of New York. We grant them a franchise under which they make a lot of money, and that's exactly as it should be. They have some obligations to us under that franchise, and one of them is to engage in following the law under the National Labor Relations Act and work with their workers uh, in good faith and the evidence is overwhelming that they have failed to do so. I keep wondering when the working class man and woman became the, the enemy of the city and the enemy of government. To me, uh, greed is the enemy of the government. Greed is the enemy of the city. Union busting is the enemy yeah. of the city. And that's what's well, happening here. You have greedy people who want to make all of the money. I don't think anyone behind me is a millionaire. I'd be hard pressed to believe that anyone behind me is a hundred thousand dollar here. Uh, we have hard working men and women who make this city run. This city would not run without the people behind me. I will not get my Knicks games without the people behind me. Uh, this city depends on these folks. And somehow we have become demonizing of them. And the mayor is one, uh, number one, I believe in that. And now I believe he's enabling Cablevision by not stepping out and standing out to the atrocities that are happening here. And that no one who sees this can have any question that union busting is happening here. What I say to Dolan and to all of the rest, that you will not treat the men and women of this local differently than anyone else. We will not allow it. And we will stand up to you each and every time until these men and women get their jobs back. Yeah. Right. And Mr. Dolan has to realize that he opened this Pandora's box. He uh, poked this hornet's nest. And it's just going to continue unless he does the right thing. And if I were him, I'd do it today. I'd pick up the phone to Chris Shelton and say, we're hiring back these workers. We're ready to sign a contract. Amen. That's how simple it is. When was it decided as a society we're going to allow multi-billion dollar corporations to silence the voice of working men and women? And when did we decide that that's the kind of society that we want to live in? I didn't get that memo. These men and women behind me didn't get that memo. So we're here to say today, enough is enough. Cablevision has to be held accountable today, now. They have to rehire these 17 workers and they have to come to the cable and negotiate a fair first contract for those men and women who voted by their right to form a union.